Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we are back in Scrap Mechanics. I'm going to go ahead and work on some designs. I did spiffy up my uh, vehicle by adding a uh, little um, grouping of headlights in the front, as well as a power thing. It's not real. It doesn't do anything. It just looks neat. Um, but I did add my horn to it. <laughs> The whale is what I'm calling it. Okay. Can I even make it down that steep of an angle? Um, maybe. But I think I'm going to try to not be so... Oh. My tail end is... There we go. I think we may be able to go down this angle, but, um, <laughs> we'll see. Oh, boy. Maybe we should go down here because there's a lot of catches. Now, we want to go slow. In true rock climbing fashion. I like how the suspension is working for us. Uh, the back wheel should catch on to rock a little bit oh, oh come on there we go now we need to pick our our path okay we want to go this way oh oh not too fast oh we're gonna turn we're gonna turn <sighs> And we're back up. It's amazing. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the Space Needle. And um, we're going to work on something that flies today. I, I'm, I'm going to wait to work on the house. And, um, and uh, we'll we'll get back to that in, in just a little bit. But I wanted to get out here to, uh, to the Space Needle. And uh, we may actually make some faster cars some different designs. Um, I have a vehicle that took me about an hour and a half to two hours to make on another world. Maybe um, I'll show how I made it. But uh, for today, we're going to try to work on making a system to try to get up to the skybox. Um, also, I have a vehicle design for making a track that goes along the full skybox. Um, but we'll worry about that whenever we get up there. Just like that, like that, go right underneath. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we need to do is uh, design um, our shape. So I think I'm going to go with, I, everyone goes with wood. Uh, so I'm going to go with this. I think it's really, oh no, it's medium. Um, these are light, so I'll use these. Uh, we will need these as well. Um, if we're going to go with flight, we're going to need some uh, propulsion. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll need um, at least a few of these and a few of these. Mm. And, um, well, let's start out with this uh, and then we'll go on from there. So see here I always like to start out with where the sea is going to be uh, let's go ahead and let that down make sure that when you're doing this that you're not looking down like here you'll see that there is separation because this is actually attached to the ground and not to the the vehicle itself so a normal seat encompasses two wide with an overhang of one wide. So that's a total of four, and I think it's uh, by six. Or I might be wrong, but that's another thing we need to get. Let's go ahead and get the chair out. We'll need a uh, suspension as well, and we'll go over that in a little bit. So let's just check where the chair is at. Oh, we are pretty much have it perfect. Um, let's go ahead and put it on a lift now. There we go. All 
All right, so this right now is one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 12 by six. Is that right? Or I'm gonna try to make a 12 by 12 actually. Mm, I think, <laughs> yeah. So three more this way. Right, right, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we need to do three by three. So let's go ahead and so that should be three coming out. One, two, three. That's six. Three, four, five. Oh, I'm just making things, making things up as I go. All right. So there's that. That is a six by six. Don't leave anything laying around. All right, so now we're going to go out six on all sides, and that will give us a 12 by 12. So we'll go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this is going to be bigger than a, a four by six or a six by six or twelve by twelve, rather. I think. I mean, was that two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, because it's going to be six, six, six. Um, that's eighteen, so it's going to be eighteen by eighteen. I think something like that anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get all these placed and then I'll be right back okay so we're done we went ahead and um, put down our um, I believe it's 18 by 18 base so the next thing we need to do um, is we need to put down some um, rotors or uh, bearings rather suspension and wheels this is how we're going to be able to move ourselves uh, in the air. So what we want to do is, um, let me go ahead and get back into first person mode. Is we want to go ahead and remove three blocks. And we'll do the same on this side. And we're going to put a bearing if I had a bearing on the bar, let's go ahead and grab one. We'll put it where the seat is. Put one there. One there. Though we don't need them. <laughs> we don't need two of them. We, we only need one. And then that is two away from the edge, I believe. One, two, yes, so... Let's get centered again. I think it was that one and that one, and that leaves us. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Do the same thing here. And then we're going to put two wheels down. Do the same thing up here and here. Now then we need to go ahead and put electrical motor in, only one of them, but we'll end up putting two um, just because we have to be symmetrical and uh, make sure everything is going to um, be exactly at the same weight. So I'm going to put one here 
and one here. I think it's three wide though, isn't it? Let's see if we can get it to um, go this way. I don't mind if it's hanging off. I kind of do mind because it's, um, but it, it shouldn't mess with the side to side. It should only mess with forward and back. So the next thing we need to do is we need to put our steering in. And the way we do that is we put down a bearing right here. And is it right there as well? Nope, we need to be one more over. There we go. We're going to put one of these facing that way. And then what we're going to do is put a spring on that right there. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put a capper on it. One going that way. One going that way. Now what you want to do is cover the whole thing up. So all the way back from where it starts. To here. And then we'll go ahead and put... There we go. One of those there. One of those there. We can actually go ahead and do that here as well. Since we already have them set up that way. And we could actually, just to make it look nice, we can do the same thing here. Let's just turn those around. Go ahead and get these. All about being nice and symmetrical and uh, making it so it doesn't look too bad. I mean, the engines, they don't look the best, but still, uh, they will work for the purposes that we're needing them for. So the next thing we do is, again, put down these. And so just to show you how all of this works, go ahead and put that there that there get rid of that and we should be able to turn left and turn right squeak squeak <laughs> there we go so whenever you're making those turns you want to make slight turns but it will allow you to turn in the air um, the wheels what they'll end up doing is they'll allow you to um, tilt forward and backward Let's do this. And we're only putting one notch on the wheels, I believe. Just one notch. Uh, at least that's how we're going to try it at first. And then uh, we may go to... Oh, that's it for that one. And these are going to go the same direction. There we go. So... So far we have our wheels, if we go ahead and get in, that move forward and backwards. We have our ability to turn. <laughs> there we go. Now we need to go ahead and put our thrusters on. So the next part is we're going to um, we, we're gonna go to each one of these corners. Cut out four. And then we're going to go up two. Actually, that's perfect right there. All right. And we're going to do that on all sides. So I'll go ahead and get that done right now.
Okay, so we're back. And uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and um, put this back up on the lift. There we go. We're going to lift it all the way up. And we are going to put thrusters on the bottom of these things that we uh, made. There we go. And if I did everything correctly, this should be exactly symmetrical. <laughs> Meaning that everything should work out fine. I should not need to have wheels over there. Unless I want to tilt that way, which is something else that I can work on. But, um, let's see. Let's see how this works out. We need to go ahead and let that down. And we need to hook these up. I'm going to go with a low power. Actually, actually, actually. Let's go ahead and use a button. Let's see, we're going to put a button. I'll put two buttons right here. Um, not going to use both of them, <laughs> but uh, it will allow me to at least set everything up for right now. We'll uh, make modifications to this, I'm pretty sure. And it may not work this, full, or this first time, so excitement! <laughs> um, all right. So now all we have to do is connect that here. And then we need to go ahead and change the speed. So I'm going to go bring these down to the second or um, it's actually the third line from um, third line from the bottom. The very bottom one uh, pretty much turns them off. So there we go. Oh, there we go. So. Okay, so this is not enough power. Um, all right, I don't know if I did the wheels correctly, but what we'll do is go ahead and add one more notch on each of these. And one more. All right. Okay, so the wheels aren't doing anything, but I can't turn. Holy cow. Oh. The wheels are not doing what I was hoping they'd do. Okay. But we have a pretty nice platform. So... All I need to do is figure out how to get those uh, going up and down. And um, I don't think that'd actually be very hard, uh, to be honest. I think all I have to do is what I did here with uh, with these. Except instead of going um, sideways, they need to go up and down. So um, let's go ahead and put this back on the lift and just see if we can go straight up. If we can, then we know we're at least successful for today, and I will go ahead and continue working on this idea next time. So, let's go ahead and get in here, and um, oh, we're, <laughs> we're still on the lift. Let's go ahead and... There we go. And we're going to just go straight up. Don't touch anything. Make sure nothing is twisting or turning. Holy cow, that's working. We've just um, reached past uh, the top of that. It's staying nice and stable. That is amazing. Let's see how far we can get up, if we can get all the way to the skybox. If we can get to the skybox, then what we can do is um, we know that we're able to go ahead and uh, go from here to make a uh, vehicle to transport. Uh, it's kind of tilted. It's kind of tilted. I think. I can't really tell. It's. It looks tilted to me though. Alright, we're still going up. We're way past. 
we're way past where we should be, um, or at least we're way past the the sky. <laughs> I can't see the ground anymore. Um, this is amazing. We are definitely turning, or maybe that's just my mouse. It looks like it's front heavy though. For oh, we've hit the skybox. So let's go ahead and just fall down, uh, just to see how. Um, how high this actually is. I mean, we're skidding right along the skybox. Oh boy. Wow. That, that took, this is taking forever to get to the ground. Uh, my hair is on fire. <laughs> wow. What? You see that? I pinned myself against the wall. And boom. Alright guys. <laughs> we uh, made our first maiden voyage. Next time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on getting this uh, so it's back to stable again. Go ahead and um, work out how to make our up and down motion. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there next time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.